Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to a tutorial series on how to proofread and how to collaborate on Word 2013. So for proofreading, Microsoft Word has very conveniently included a dictionary and a thesaurus. So obviously you know how to use a dictionary, just click on the define, which is under the proofing and which is under the review tab. Just look up words you don't know, really convenient, I don't really need to go through that. It also has a thesaurus. So if you feel that you've used the words too much and you want to change your wording up a bit, it's there at your disposal. And you also have a word count, which counts your word, pages, characters, paragraphs, and a bunch of stuff. So that's basically it for proofreading. And for collaboration, Microsoft Word has included a series of tools that can let you collaborate with colleagues or your friends. So first, you can insert comments. To insert a comment, just simply click this new comment and just type whatever comment you want. And you can also highlight a certain text to comment on that. So if I want to highlight this text and click new comment, then obviously I can also click on it. And when you send the file to others, they're going to see this comment. And when they click on the comment, they're going to know which comments you're talking about, which it will highlight. And obviously, you could delete your comment by clicking this delete button. Quite simple. And you can also do something called track change in Microsoft Word 2013. What track change basically is, it basically um, track all the changes so colleagues know what changes you've made to the document. So to track change, just click this track change button. And it's going to start tracking change. So let's say I delete this dogs and as you can see it doesn't delete it it puts a strike through over dogs and it means that I've deleted it but it just wants to let my reader know that I've deleted it so and on the left it also shows that I deleted dogs so if you want to see the final simply click this drop down menu right here and click no markup and it's going to delete the stuff I've deleted instead of showing the markup or tracking the change. If I want to resume, just click all markup. And I can make a couple changes. Say I like hamburgers instead of cheeseburgers. I can do that. And as you can see, when I add something, it doesn't just add it on black ink. It also adds it on red. So my reader knows that I've added that thing. And once you send it to your friends, or someone have sent you a document that has changes all over it, you can either accept or reject the change. So if I click this and I click accept, it's going to comply to the change. And if I click this and I don't think it's a good idea, I can also click reject and it's not going to comply to the change. It's going to stay the same and you can just delete this. And that's basically it for this tutorial. And have a nice day and please subscribe and like and comment. And I'll see you later.